Namaste. Welcome. For today, I'd like to give a comment on the energetic significance, the functions, as well as the similarities between the nasal sound we produce when we say the syllable NG, mm, and the sound, and the Kachari Mudra, and how are the mantras closely related to this topic. And I will give you some pointers too on how you can make use of the technique in learning the Kachari Mudra lightly especially if you are thinking about learning it in the future or you are tackling it already at the stage of your practice and you wanted to find out more about the technique. So inside the mouth, when we say the syllable NG, mm, yeah, the back of our tongue slightly press against the soft palate behind the mouth. Yeah, and we prevent the air from exiting our mouth. And together with the vibration coming from the vocal cords, mm, mm, yeah, we stimulate two of the most important chakras of our asa system. Yeah. One is the Vishuddhi chakra, the throat chakra, located higher up the throat region, and the Talu chakra, the hidden chakra, sitting between the Ajna and the Vishuddhi chakra. The Talu chakra is the one that connects the lower body to the inner brain. So it is located between the medulla oblongata, the top of the spine, and the cranial region. Sitting in between is the Talu chakra. And when the Talu Chakra gets stimulated, the inner brain opens up. And inside the inner brain are the pituitary and the pineal glands. And these two glands, when they get stimulated, will produce more alpha and theta brain waves. Brain waves which promote better sleep, deep relaxation, restoration, and absorption during meditation. Right, so that's how important the Talu Chakra is when it comes to energy channeling. And behind the nasal cavity, higher up the mouth, are nerves which are directly connected to the Talu Chakra. Yeah, so when we stimulate the nerves uh, by lifting yeah, the back of the tongue to press lightly up against the soft palate, really behind, we stimulate those nerves. And the NG sound mm, yeah, is so powerful in achieving that function. And there are so many mantras in yoga yeah, which contain this nasal sound and the many other frequencies they produce to target different regions of our inner brain. For example, the mantra Om Namo. The Om is the nasal sound which targets the upper region of uh, the nasal cavity, thus in turn stimulate the Talu Chakra, and the Namo, being low, targets the Vishuddhi Chakra. Alright, so the Om Namo is a common mantra which when we practice over and over again will really help us develop our Asa system. What else? So Hung. So Hung. The Hung, yeah, being the yeah, uh, nasal sound and the So yeah, vibrates uh, towards the bottom region of the neck, the throat area. Alright, so saying mantras, practicing mantras regularly will really help you, you know, develop your asa system. But the Kachari Mudra is so powerful because we're using the physical tongue itself. First, to irrigate and cleanse the inner channels behind our nasal cavity, and at the same time, stimulate the nadis. The tongue has a direct connection to the many channels inside the body. And the three most important nadis yeah, uh, meet and intersect yeah, really higher up the nasal region. And the Kachari Mudra is so powerful in stimulating the endpoints of the three fundamental nadis, Ida, Pingala, and Shushumna. And that will in turn stimulate the inner brain. All right. And together with the technique of breathing through the process as we build a light pressure inside the cranial region, we directly stimulate the inner brain. So that's how powerful Kachari Mudra is when it comes to meditation. Yeah. So how can we make use of this technique now for us to learn the Kachari Mudra? Back then, it was happening to me already, even before learning the technique. But it was more of a byproduct of the meditation. As I go through deep absorption, I could just feel my tongue slide backwards, but unknowingly, unconsciously. Yeah, so when the inner body is open, the tongue will just fold backwards to make room for the energy to enter the inner brain, the Kundalini energy. Yeah, but when it happens in meditation, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's not as active as the Kachari Mudra, but feels similar. So that really helped me a lot understand the technique from the origin. So the application of the technique in the Kachari Mudra is this. 
Open the mouth. Relax the jaw. Good. Keep the head neutrally lifted and lightly fold the chin close to the throat, but don't squeeze like you are doing a light chin mudra, just to keep the back of the neck low. Then inside the mouth, say the nasal sound NG. Mm. 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 Feel the fronts of the throat. Yeah. The fronts of the throat will lightly drop and the backs of the throat will open up. And that will make room for the tongue to slide backwards and upwards. Mm. 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 You will feel it. Yeah, when you say the nasal sound NG, you won't miss it. Yeah, it's organic. It's part of the technique. All right. Now, lifting your awareness higher up, like you're saying the mantra, on, 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 or the so hung. Yeah, so you will feel um, that little bit more of that energetic lift as you practice the technique. All right. So what you're going to do now is at the top of that organic suction, mm, mm. Keep the suction and you're going to slide the tip of the tongue. You're going to curl it upwards and backwards and it will just slide back easily to enter the backs of the uvula, such as this. Open the mouth. Mm. Mm. Good. And it will just go there. Yes. So you save so much effort doing this. Yeah. And so by pulling the tongue backwards, because that's where the origin of the technique comes from, it's not the tip of the tongue. The tip of the tongue is just a secondary movement. And the initial action comes from the back. So by pulling the tongue back already, yeah, so the tongue is already behind. So all you need to do is to slide the tip of the tongue upwards and backwards. It's important to, to keep the head neutrally lifted to your neck. Don't open the neck too much, although earlier on I was tilting my head so you can see, but when you're learning it, lightly fold the head, just align the head to your neck. Mm. 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 Like that. So this will help you manage your learning of the Kachari Mudra without straining. But still, I suggest you work on the flexibility and the mobility of your tongue, the mouth region in general, by doing tongue exercises such as the Chalan Kriya and the Doan Kriya. I posted a lesson yeah, about that a while back, so you might want to take a look at that tutorial so you can appreciate the technique. And other uh, Kriyas or exercises such as the Talabya Kriya. No one or the Nabu Kriya where we press the surface of our tongue against the upper palate and then suck it as far back as it can go behind the mouth. Yeah, so those are good ways for you to you know, promote the sensitivity, the mobility and stimulate the nerves located behind your nasal cavity. Yeah. And of course the mantras. Mantras are helpful for you to develop your astral system as well. And then do them over and over again. That's the key. Energy channeling is about that. Practice the elements over and over again. Don't get tired until the sensations and the techniques get ingrained that your mind stops thinking anymore. It just happens. And that's when the subtle force flows out. See you next time. Namaste. Once this technique is mastered, you may want to try another way. Yeah, the only difference is that we allow the chin to open forward, just to open the throat, that will lift the upper palate up and forward, like the upper palate protrudes slightly forward, like that. Yeah, the first technique, chin top, then the second technique, lightly open. Yeah, but everything which happens at the back remains the same. You're going to keep sucking the epiglottis backwards, as you say, the nasal sound NG. Mm, like that. Mm. 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 And that. Yeah. See so the neck is slightly open forward. The first technique. Closed. Mm. Mm. The second technique. Mm. Well, this is much lighter. Yeah, but the first technique is easier to learn. Actually, you will be able to develop more ways of doing this. Once you find your initial way there, you won't lose it anymore. See you next time.
Namaste.